have your full weekend forecast for you. All right, thanks, Sarah. As you know, this is Sounds of the Season Day here at CBC Windsor. The donations are still rolling in, and so are the visitors. Lisa Shing will have highlights throughout the program, and in fact, she joins us now with an update. Lisa. Asha, we broadcast to you live from the studio this morning. Let's go back. Bob Steele is hosting the bridge. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. There's a huge studio audience here. There are musicians and artists and a big, big crowd that turned out today. And one of the great stories that came out of this is about a little girl who is doing great things for the community. You can never be too young to be a philanthropist. I saw uh, this guy looking in the garbage and uh, I wasn't really happy about that. I thought maybe he doesn't have any food. So I went up to my dad and I'm like, get an extra hamburger. So my dad went to get a hamburger and he's like, who's the hamburger for? And I'm like, it's for this man that's looking out in the garbage. Nor do you have to have a lot of money. Along with her friends, Maya Michael traded lemonade for thousands of canned foods for charity this summer. A lemonade stand is just a little bit. I want to help more than doing just a little bit. So this Christmas, Maya is expanding her scope. We're going to be passing on postcards to make the people smile during Christmas. We're going to be giving out bags that people will fill up in cans and we'll take them to the Salvation Army. We uh, are going to be visiting two senior homes and we're going to dance and do all sorts of things for them. What exactly inspires this eight-year-old? I'm so happy to help the community and I know that the community cares that I'm doing this because I can see the reaction on their faces. And her parents' support may just keep Maya on her charitable kick for years to come. We are very proud and every time I watch Maya and her friends or Maya in different activities, she touched my heart in one way or in another, not because she's my daughter, you know, it is because the giving part of it. And this is just one of the great stories coming out of our community tonight. Uh, and uh, Maya plans on rolling out more of her projects come spring, so we'll stay tuned for that. And coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll have more with Windsor Regional Hospital on their efforts in our campaign. Asha. And Lisa, of course, she was at our open house this morning on Windsor Morning and had the whole room in tears. She is just so inspiring. What a way to get back. Thanks, Lisa. Of course, it's all about the spirit of giving. And my next guest. She first became known as the Lemonade Stand Girl who collected thousands of cans for a local food bank. And now she's the person behind a group of like-minded young people called Maya's Friends. Maya Michael is an eight-year-old girl from Windsor who has a passion for helping her community. In August, she and a group of friends set up a lemonade stand in front of the Superstore on Walker Road. They traded glasses of fresh lemonade for donations to the food bank, and this thing turned out to be a huge success. Now she and the group known as Maya's Friends have more ideas about how to make Windsor a better place. Maya Michael and her father John are here with us this morning. John Michael, good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Nice to be here. And if it's all the same to you, we're going to ignore you and talk to your daughter. It is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> she Hello. can handle it. She can handle it. Hey, how are you? Good. Thank you for coming in. Tell me about this lemonade stand idea. Tell me how all that happened. Well, I decided to do a lemonade stand to help the people in the uh, in this uh, to help the people in the city of Windsor and. My, I told my dad, why don't we do it in front of the house? But my dad said, well, if you do it in front of the house, you're just going to get two, three cans. So we went to talk to Superstore, and Superstore let us take take two hours for two days uh, to sell lemon, not to sell, but to give lemonade. And we were happy about that, and we want to thank our supporters, our friends, and the parents. Our supporters were the Superstore and for giving us the place to do it, the Silverstein who gave us the lemons to squeeze, the McDonald's that uh, that let us that gave us the jars and the orange juice, and the Vasta print that printed us postcards and bags. 
sponsor mentions at the age of eight. It's all good. How many lemons did you squeeze? 124. Personally? Yes. By hand? Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Show me your hand. Show me your arms there. My goodness. John, I mean, what did you and Maya's mom think about all of this? I think it's great. I think it's uh, an eye-opening for the community that uh, a child will make a move and we sponsor her. We give her all the power that she needs so she can exceed in, in the community and do whatever is right for the community. Um, I have a message for uh, a lot of parents. It is important to invest in your child. It is uh, who said that a small, dedicated uh, group cannot make a difference? As a matter of fact, it's the only thing that makes a difference. I'm very proud of her. Uh, justifiably so. Y you wanted to collect food, Maya. That was the goal, right? Yes. Tell me why. To help the people that don't have food in the city of Windsor. And how did you recognize that need? How did you know that was a problem? I went to America and I went to McDonald's. Then after I saw a guy looking in the garbage, so I I I went up to my dad and I'm like, Dad, can you get an extra hamburger? Then after my dad got a hamburger and he gave it to that guy and he he saved a piece of the hamburger, and I also had apples. And then after I gave it to him too. And what did he say to you? He. He told me thank you because he didn't have any food and he was looking in the garbage. How did that make you feel to have done something like that? It makes it made me feel very good. Who are Maya's friends? Who are your who are these people that are helping you out? Well, some of them come from the school and some of them are my neighbors and and uh it's open to the whole community. Anybody that wants to be Maya's friend is all good. Yes. Raise your hand if you'd like to be Maya's friend. Anybody? Yeah, everybody here. You have room for everybody who's here? Uh, yeah. You do? Okay. Now, how many of your friends are eight years old? Well, uh, a lot of people are in third grade, but there's some in fifth grade, one in eighth grade, two in fourth grade, two in second grade. And some of them are at the superstore, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else are you planning? I mean, you did the lemonade stand thing. Do you have other things in the works? Yes, uh, we are we are passing on postcards for to show the people that you should be happy during Christmas, and we are also passing on cans and you, uh, to put the food inside, and we'll pick them up the next day, and we are gonna be we're uh, we're gonna be visiting two senior homes, and we're gonna be dancing and playing and do everything for them. And uh, we are also covering this uh, this disease called the maple syrup urine disease, and uh, and it affects the body. Like y you have to, some of some people sit in the stroller when they're nine years old because they can't walk good, they can't talk, and they can't like the food doesn't digest in their tummy. Mm -hmm. What it is, it's um, a child is born with a deficiency. Uh, of uh, breaking the uh, three of the 20 essential proteins and so it's, a, it's a digestive issue of yes sort, yes right? and it become uh, very toxic for the body and uh, uh, it it poisons the bloodstream and it hits the brain it's basically like a born with an alzheimer and it hits uh, the brain and start to eat from the brain cells and uh, what it is we're trying to get a medical team uh, involved in this issue. Uh, we want uh, uh, at least uh, four or five doctors, uh, a nurse, a physiotherapist, massage therapist, and the team of Maya's friend. Uh, we will work in collaboration with the health department and see what we can do about it. And this is a long-term forecast uh, uh, in the future that we are uh, working on it. I have a question for you, John Michael, and it is I mean, I know that many children are inspired by their parents. Uh, okay. I'm guessing it's somewhat working in reverse for you. Well, I uh, I started my life in volunteering and community services when I was little as a child, uh, scouting. I started the first uh, first aid team in North Lebanon 
for the Red Cross. I was very young. And Were you eight years old? No, no. Eight, eight years old was scouting and, <laughs> okay. and, and bas basically scouting. That's how I met my wife. Um, we, we, we came from a home that uh, does a lot of community services and we, we volunteer and we put our life online for our neighbors and our community and the people around us. So Maya comes by it honestly, for sure. It's Maya, my sugar for her. Yeah, hey, thank you so much <laughs> for coming in, John, and congratulations on what you. you've done with, with this little girl. Maya, thank you. Have a wonderful Christmas. I feel like I've accomplished nothing. Thank you for having <laughs> me here. It's been, a, it's been a distinct pleasure, Maya Michael and her father, John. Can, can I just uh, send a very uh, thanks to her team, uh, the parents that are dedicated, that... Uh, look for their children and uh, direct them to the right direction. I just want to say thank you for that. And thank you so much for coming in again, John. Thank you. And thank you again, Maya. Also, I know it's very cold. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it very fast and uh, very simple. Uh, we're gonna make sure that uh, uh, we start our month in, in the right footstep. We have uh, Father John with us. Father John is gonna make a quick prayer, a very quick prayer uh, for the kids and for the community. And. Uh, I, I don't know if all of you guys know Father John. Father John represents the Orthodox Church in uh, St. Ignatius in Windsor, Ontario. Uh, Father, I give you five minutes, please. Five minutes? <laughs> I wish I can talk all day. Because no, it's, okay it's today. <laughs> my pleasure actually to see in this age encouraging even the old people, especially politicians and religious people also like me, to love more and more. And to give us hope, as John said, his name, by the way, is my name too, Father John, who loves you so much and brought you here with this kind of celebration. And I can tell you, you are the celebration. God loves you, and he sent his son as a baby in Christmas. The, the Christmas without baby, without kids like you in your age, is not a Christmas. So we can call it the Christmas of kids like you and children because he said let the children come to me for belong to them the kingdom of heaven right so I encourage you for your endurance and your work for the future your future the future of the city especially Windsor here we need a light like yours to light the darkness of this age and we love you we encourage you we are with you, we pray for you. Do you know how to pray our Father? Let's pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And leave us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine the kingdom, the power, and the glory. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and ages of ages. Amen. God bless you. Maya? Wow. Please repeat after me. I promise. I promise. I promise. To do my best. best and to help the community and to help the community and my fellow man and my fellow man so guide me God so guide, guide me God, me God. Amen. Amen Amen Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you.
Thank you for thank God for you. We're gonna conclude the, the small ceremony. We wanna thank everybody that shows up today. Uh, we miss some of the kids that uh, that uh, excuse uh, the opportunity to be with us today. However, we will also include them in everything we do. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for showing up. You being here just makes the difference. Of course. You know, it's a small thing that we built on to make the huge thing. And I hope this small event, you will remember it and you will carry it all your life. Thank you very much for coming. And uh, I would like to give those uh, starting our month. I would like you guys to share with me. Uh, that is it. The cards, those are the cards that will be all over the city of Windsor. Uh, that's the place where uh, I'm going to print around 2,500 of them. We will use them and we will greet everybody in the city that we can lay our hand on. And uh, it's just a reminder to be nice during the season of uh, giving and sharing. To be nice to each other. Something reflect my mind today when I heard that there is eight people that get killed yesterday in the city of Detroit when they are doing their shopping. So can you imagine how much stress people get in this month? Walk the mall, you can feel it. People are busy, they are pushing each other. Yes. Yeah, and Detroit something. They are pushing each other and it is really very sad guys. We live for human beings that are in this area. We, we live for each other. Oh my God. So for shopping? For they shopping. push each other for shopping? Yeah. I don't know what happened exactly. It's a mall. Still on mountains. Yeah. Black, Black Friday. So, yeah. This morning. John Michael, good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Nice to be here. And if it's all the same to you, we're going to ignore you and talk to you. It is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> she Hello. can handle it. She can handle it. Hey, how are you? Good. Thank you for coming in. Tell me about this lemonade stand idea. Tell me how all that happened. Well, I decided to do a lemonade stand to help the people in the uh, in this uh, to help the people in the city of Windsor and. My, I told my dad, why don't we do it in front of the house? But my dad said, well, if you do it in front of the house, you're just going to get two, three cans. So we went to talk to Superstore, and Superstore let us take take two hours for two days uh, to sell lemon, not to sell, but to give lemonade. And we were happy about that, and we want to thank our supporters, our friends, and the parents. Our supporters were the Superstore and for giving us the place to do it, the Silverstein who gave us the lemons to squeeze, the McDonald's that uh, that let us that gave us the jars and the orange juice, and the Basta print that printed us postcards and bags. Sponsor mentions at the age of eight. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how many lemons did you squeeze? One hundred and twenty-four. Personally? Yes. <laughs> By hand? Really? Yes. Show me your hand. Show me your arms there. Good. John, I mean, what did you and your <coughs> mom think about all of this? I think it's great. I think it's uh, an eye opening for the community that. Uh, a child will make a move and we sponsor her, we give her all the power that she needs so she can exceed in, in the community and do whatever is right for the community. Um, I have a message for uh, a lot of parents. It is important to invest in your child. It is, uh, who said that a small dedicated uh, 
group cannot make a difference. As a matter of fact, it's the only thing that makes a difference. I'm very proud of that. Uh, justifiably so. You wanted to collect food, Maya. That was the goal, right? Tell me why. To help the people that don't have food in the city of Windsor. And how did you recognize that need? How did you know that was a problem? I went to America and I went to McDonald's. Then after I saw a guy looking in the garbage, so I I, I went up to my dad and I'm like, Dad, can you get an extra hamburger? Then after my dad got a hamburger and we gave it to that guy and he he saved a piece of the hamburger. And I also had apples and then after I gave it to him too. And what did he say to you? He, he told me thank you because he didn't have any food and he was looking in the garbage. How did that make you feel to have done something like that? It, make, it made me feel very good. Who are Maya's friends? Who are your who are these people that are helping you out? Well, some of them come from the school and some of them are my neighbors and and uh, it's open to the whole community. Anybody that wants to be Maya's friend is all good. Yes. Raise your hand if you'd like to be my friend. Anybody? <laughs> yeah. Everybody here. Is there room for everybody who's here? Uh, yeah. You do? Okay. Now, how many of your friends are eight years old? Well, uh, a lot of people are in third grade, but there's some in fifth grade, one in eighth grade, two in fourth grade, two in second grade. And some of them are at the superstore, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else are you planning? I mean, you did the lemonade stand thing. Do you have other things? In the works? Yes, uh, we are we are passing on postcards for to show the people that you should be happy during Christmas, and we are also passing on cans and you, uh, to put the food inside, and we'll pick them up the next day. And we are gonna be we're uh, we're gonna be visiting two senior homes, and we're gonna be dancing and playing and do everything for them. And uh, we are also covering this uh, this disease called the maple syrup urine disease, and uh, and it affects the body. Like you have to, some of, some people sit in the stroller when they're nine years old because they can't walk good, they can't talk, and they can't like the food doesn't digest in their tummy. Mm -hmm. So what it is? It's um, a child is born with a deficiency. Uh, of uh, breaking the uh, three of the 20 essential proteins and... So it's, a, it's a digestive issue of... Yes, sensory. yes, and it becomes uh, very toxic for the body and uh, uh, it, it goes into the bloodstream and it hits the brain. It's basically like a bone with an Alzheimer's and it hits uh, the brain and starts to eat from the brain cells yeah. and uh, what it is, we're trying to get a medical team uh, involved in this issue. Uh, we want uh, uh, at least uh, four or five doctors, a, a nurse, a physical therapist, massage therapist, and the team of my friend. Uh, we will work in collaboration with the health department and see what we can do about it. And this is a long-term forecast uh, uh, in the future that we are uh, working on it. I have a question for you, John Michael, and it is I mean, I know that many children are inspired by their parents. Uh, I'm guessing it's somewhat working in reverse for you. Well, I, uh, I started my life in volunteering in community services when I was little as a child, uh, scouting. I started the first, uh, first aid team in North Lebanon for the Red Cross. I was very young. Um, Three years old. No, no, <laughs> it just all was scouting and, <laughs> yeah, and, okay. and basically scouting. That's how I met my wife. Um, <coughs> we, we, we came from a home that uh, does a lot of community services and we, we volunteered and we put our life online for our neighbors and our community and the people around us. So Maya comes by it honestly, for sure. My, yeah, hey, thank you so much <laughs> for coming in, John, and congratulations on what you've done with, with this little girl. Maya, thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful Christmas. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've accomplished nothing. <laughs>
<laughs> it's, been a, it's been a distinct pleasure, Maya Michael and her father, John. Can, can I just uh, send a very uh, thanks to her team, uh, the parents that are dedicated, that uh, look for their children and uh, direct them to the right direction. I just want to say thank you for them. And thank you so much for coming in again, John. Thank you. Thank you again, Maya. La musique de Mitsu pour euh, en fait nous mettre dans l'ambiance du temps des fêtes et j'ai euh, juste à côté de moi une jeune de l'école Monseigneur Jean Noël en cette semaine du grand partage euh, Maya Michael qui a huit ans élève de la troisième année à l'école Monseigneur Jean Noël de Windsor fait déjà preuve d'un grand sens de la générosité et du partage bonjour Maya bonjour alors, Maya, on a parlé de toi dans le journal cet été parce que tu avais eu une initiative très originale, une idée très originale pour récolter de la nourriture pour les banques alimentaires de Windsor. Peux-tu m'expliquer ce que tu as fait? Je, je, le don, je le donné à les pauvres et on a aussi eu de l'argent, mais l'argent, on a acheté de la nourriture pour les pauvres. Et comment as-tu fait pour avoir de la nourriture? On a, on, a, on a allé à le superstore et on a demandé les personnes si elles voulaient aider et elles nous ont dit oui. Juste comme ça? Oui. Tu as demandé, ils ont dit oui, mais c'est merveilleux. Oui. Et pourquoi et comment as-tu eu cette idée? Euh, J'ai eu cette idée quand je voulais faire un, 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 un lemonade stand en Comment, ça fait comment on le dit en anglais. Ouais. Et, euh, je, le trouve, je voulais le faire euh, en avant de la maison. Mais mon papa m'a dit, pourquoi est-ce que tu veux le faire en avant de la maison? Ça va juste te donner trois ou quatre camps de moi. Et après, c'est tout. D'abord, on est allé à Superstore et on lui a demandé d'aller nous placer là-bas. Et j'ai aussi eu l'idée de le faire car en Michigan, j'ai vu cette personne qui regardait dans, les, dans, dans la poubelle pour la nourriture. D'abord, j'ai allé à mon papa et j'ai allé acheter, acheter un hamburger pour lui. D'abord, on lui a donné un hamburger. Il a, euh, il a sauvé un peu pour après. Et aussi, euh, là-bas, euh, 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 le, 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 le Michigan, il y a des pommes. D'abord, j'ai donné des pommes à, à, mes pommes à lui. Tu es très généreuse. Merci. <rire> oui, et j'aimerais qu'on parle de ton stand de limonade. Comment ça s'est passé? Tu t'es installée devant le Superstore? Oui. Et tu vendais de, de la limonade? Oui. Et con, combien tu vendais ta limonade? On ne voulait pas d'argent, on voulait des cannes. Pour... Oh, des cannes. Oui. Ah, d'accord. Et est-ce que les gens ont été très généreux? 
Oui. Oui, qu'est-ce qu'il te disait? Je voulais, je veux les remercier beaucoup. Oui. Et eux, qu'est-ce qu'il te disait lorsqu'il te voyait avec ton stand de, de limonade? Il était surpris et il, il, il m'a dit oui. Et, il, et des personnes ont dit quand on va revenir, car il n'avait pas de camp. D'abord, quand ils ont revenu, ils ont juste me donné un camp. Oh, c'est gentil. Oui. Tu devais être contente? Oui. Et pourquoi c'est impor important pour toi? de donner et d'avoir un stand de limonade, de, de, de demander aux gens qu'ils appuient la bonne cause. C'est important pour moi car je, je sais que les personnes peuvent, comme, ça qu'il y a des pauvres personnes dans le, la, euh, dans le Windsor, mais il y a des personnes qui pensent, non, il n'y a pas de pauvres personnes dans le Windsor, et je n'aime pas quand les personnes disent ça. Non, tu veux qu'ils soient sensibilisés, qu'ils sachent qu'il y en a des personnes qui ont vraiment besoin. Oui. Et qu'est-ce qui t'a influencé ou qu'est-ce qui te motive à faire ce genre de projet, Maya? Ça me... Qu Est-ce qu'il est qu y a quelqu'un qui t'a déjà dit que c'est important de faire ce genre de collecte? Oui, c'est euh, mes, mes parents et aussi l'école a aussi fait la même chose à l'école Monseigneur Jean-Noël. On donne des camps pour les pauvres personnes dans la cité de euh, Windsor. Et c'est la semaine justement du grand partage. Oui. Alors, qu'est-ce que vous avez fait dans ton école, Monseigneur Jean-Noël? Euh, on, on a tout ramené des camps et maintenant on a rendu dans notre classe juste. Juste notre classe, 271 camps. Wow! Oui. C'est merveilleux! Merci. As-tu d'autres idées, Maya, en terminant, ou des projets que tu aimerais réaliser pour la communauté, pour venir en aide aux gens qui ont besoin? Oui, euh, on, va, on va donner des, euh, des cartes pour dire d'être content pendant l'hiver. On va... Car Noël, euh, car beaucoup de personnes poussent pendant Noël et ils ne sont pas vraiment contents. Et, on, et je aussi donne des sacs, euh, des sacs pour que les personnes remplissent de camps et on va lui les donner euh, à, les, à les pauvres. Et on va, on va aller à deux, à deux euh, places où les vieilles personnes sont et qui n'ont pas personne pour être avec. D'abord, on va danser, chanter et faire beaucoup de choses pour eux. Et aussi, on, en anglais, on appelle un disease, le maple syrup urine disease. Et ça, ça ce n'est pas une bonne chose. Quand, quand l'enfant est né avec le ce n'est comme, il, il ne peut pas, ça, ça euh, il ne fonctionne pas bien car euh, euh, il, ça vient, puis après, il ne peut pas manger les choses qu'on peut, et il, il ne peut pas bouger beaucoup, et il doit s'asseoir, comme des personnes s'assoient sur, euh, euh, sur le stroller quand ils sont neuf ans. Oh. Car il ne peut pas euh, bien manger, bien, digérer. Oui, et il ne peut pas marcher et il ne peut pas jouer comme il faut. Maya, tu euh, appuies beaucoup de bonnes causes. J'aimerais savoir, est-ce que tu sais ce que tu vas faire quand tu vas être grande? Oui, je vais être un docteur. Ça ne me surprend pas. Bravo. Mayo, Maya, je te remercie beaucoup d'être venue nous voir ce matin en studio et félicitations, tu fais du merveilleux travail. Je vous remercie. Merci encore. Alors, c'était Maya Mikiel de l'école Monseigneur Jean-Noël, future docteur, future grande organisatrice, même peut-être du grand partage. Qui sait? Uh, 
Um, and Maya, I know you did something pretty incredible back in the summer. What was it? I did a lemonade stand to help the community. How did you get that idea? Well, I saw, uh, when I went to Detroit, I saw uh, this guy looking in the garbage, and uh, I wasn't really happy about that. I thought maybe he doesn't have any food. So I went up to my dad, and I'm like, get an extra hamburger. So my dad went to get a hamburger, and he's like, who's the hamburger for? And I'm like, it's for this man that's looking out in the garbage, and he gave it to the man. Then after I opened my Happy Meal, and I'm like, Oh, there's, a, there's apples. Okay, I'll give the apples to him. And so what happened after that? What was the man's reaction? I think he looked very happy because he also kept uh, a piece of it for later. That's great. And then from that one experience, how did you get the idea for the lemonade stand? Well, I, I wanted to do a lemonade stand about it. So um, my dad said, said, why do you want to do it in front of the house? All you're going to get is two, three cans and $50 from me. So, uh, so, what we, so what we did is we went to talk to uh, Superstore. Then after Superstore, uh, Superstore let us stand over there and I'll ask the people if they want to help. And so I heard you traded lemonade for cans, right? And how many cans did you get? Uh, I got a big amount that I didn't count them all. <laughs> Was it thousands again? Yeah. Wow. And over how two days, right? That's it? Yeah. That's incredible. Did you ever expect to get that many? No. <laughs> and what were you, so after that, I mean, you decided to continue this, right? Yeah. Um, where did the food go from the summer? The food went to the Salvation Army, and the Salvation Army gave it to the people that don't have any food. And why did, so you continued this, of course, yeah. um, with Maya's friends. Yeah. Tell me why. Uh, we continued it because I want to help, like, a lemonade stand is just a little bit. I want to help more than doing just a little bit. And tell me about the more part. The more part is that we were, we were going to do, we're going to be passing on postcards to make the people smile during Christmas. We're going to be giving out bags, which will be filling, uh, which will fill, uh, the people will fill up in cans and we'll take them to the Salvation Army. We uh, are going to be visiting two senior homes and we're going to dance and do all sorts of things for them. And also we are going to be uh, taking care of this disease called uh, uh, the maple syrup curing disease and it affects the brain and the, the kid cannot digest it. They're born with it, but they don't get it and uh, it's very hard because you can see a nine-year-old still in the stroller. Wow. And so where did you get all these ideas? These are big, big ideas. Uh, I, I saw lots of people helping the community and I wanted to, to do the same thing as them and it it, it, I, it, I had very much fun, and I would like to take this time to, uh, to include my sponsors, the Superstore. Uh, the Superstore gave us the place to do it. McDonald's, they gave us the jar and the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the, the orange juice. And also, I would want to thank uh, the Silver silver screen that gave us the lemonade and also blast the print that uh, printed out the postcards and the bags. Wow, that's a big, big effort for you, huh? So how much have you collected so far? Uh, we co we've collected a lot. Well, we didn't technically begin, but we are going to be doing those in the summer. Thanks for sending, not just another group, thanks uh, for sending for the team here. Yeah. Now we are with uh, Tia Salagi. She's gonna play piano for you guys. She's uh, an asset for my friends group.
or Silent Night. Watch out. You better watch out. Okay, get ready. Here we go. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. He's going to find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming.
one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Who love with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him, as he shouted out with glee, who love the red nose reindeer, you'll go down. They're going to be performing uh, the dances, and I hope every one of you guys enjoy it. Silent night too. Silent night. Okay, she's gonna play. Silent night. We do like small. Uh, whatever. I don't know. Okay, you ready? Silent night? No, no, this one here, Santa Claus. Uh, oh, yeah, well, you better watch out, yeah. You want to do that okay. one? Do you know it on this? No, this one, she doesn't. Okay. Do you know this one? No, it's okay. Okay, that's it. Come on and sing it. 
That's my favorite song, eh? Yalla, I'm gonna sing it with you. That's my favorite song. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not bow down. Send you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. Checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. Better not how I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. On behalf of uh, Maya Spain and Snatching uh, Nachos Sanabin uh, Group Dance, we would like to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year, we're going to be giving those cards, just a souvenir from us to remember us, and we will be remembering you guys too, and we wish you all the best, and hopefully we can see you in the future too. God bless you, and thank you for coming, we enjoyed spending the time with you, and we hope that you guys enjoyed spending the time with us too. Thank you.